If this story is accurate, it represents the next step in a new surveillance paradigm, one where computers are constantly scanning the communications of Americans looking for information of interest to the government. Those types of broad general searches are precisely the types of suspicionless searches that the Fourth Amendment was designed to prohibit. It's clear that the NSA continues to engage in, in extremely broad spying. Uh, while there have been some reforms to uh, some NSA programs, it's clear that many of the most intrusive programs continue to exist and operate today. Email users today have a number of different platforms and technologies that they can rely on to protect the privacy of their communications, including apps that allow them to uh, use end-to-end -end encryption, which means that no provider has access to the content of, of their communications and therefore can't give that content to the government. The story says here that the government was searching for a particular string of characters, uh, but that doesn't in any way resolve the problem with searching through all of Yahoo's customers' emails in search of that particular character string. Uh, it's as if the government wanted to search every house looking for one particular piece of paper.